here, Deanna and Phil, and we are in Madrid, Spain. If you watched our Valencia vlogs, you can see we've upgraded to a nicer place. We're not in that shower room anymore, but we still have vodka. No worries. <laughs> We're only here for a few days, so we are going to explore as much as we can, but most importantly, let's eat! It to this little tapas place that Phil looked up. Yeah, it sounds promising and we just ordered like four different items, two bigger sandwiches, an empanada and yes. a salad. I'm excited, I'm ready. Me too. So hungry. Never had tapas before. <laughs> I'm not an olive person, this is uh, one of the better olives, so not as bad. Right? It's not as bad. It's, well, no, it's still, <laughs> still not my thing. The dishes are coming out one by one and we have three of them here. We have this arugula salad with smoked salmon. There's red onions and almonds on top of it with this honey mustard dressing. I'm really excited about that. And then we have this Iberian ham open-faced sandwich. This is a, what I feel like is classic tapas. Just small bread with meat on top of it. It's gonna be delicious. And we have an empanada. We got the Caprese empanada with uh, mozzarella, tomatoes, and basil inside of it. Right. Trying to set up the perfect bite, but it's huge. <laughs> I don't think it'll fit. Holy smokes, yeah, I love it. I think arugula and salmon is like, mwah, awesome combination. I really love it. It's fresh, it's flavorful, it's light, everything I want from tapas. I'm all for the ham, I really like it. The bread's a little too hard for me. I prefer softer bread, but I really like it flavor-wise. It's really nice. So it has this nice uh, tomato paste underneath the ham. And then I think it's seasoned with oregano on top of the ham and it's, it's good. It's got nice flavor. It's <laughs> all right, finally my turn. I'm trying the empanada caprice. It looks like a mini pizza actually, <laughs> a thick one, Chicago style and it has just tomato and mozzarella on it. All right, and I think the best way to do this one is handheld. It has a soft bottom actually. The moist is almost coming through here. Oh my God. Dude, this is like the best pizza snack I have ever had in my life. It's so cheesy and tomato saucy. It's amazing. Pizza snack, I like that. Mm. Oh my god. Half of it's gone in three bites. Oh my god, that's so good, really. Look how it's slowly oozing out of it. Mm. I have to put on the side. Put it back in. No. No. Should we just order five of those? And our last dish just arrived. We got the sirloin with brie cheese. It's another open face sandwich. I think I'm not gonna handheld this. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll try. I'm gonna cut it first. Mm. It smells meaty and uh, the cheese is oozing on the side. I think there's some kind of dark uh, balsamico vinaigrette on it. We'll see if it can uh, stack up to the to the empanada. I have all I have it all on my finger. Okay. Dude, this is so good. This is some of the best food I had. I have to be honest, I've never had tapas before. I don't know if this is classic tapas. Um, when I think tapas, I always thought tiny portions, overpriced tiny portions. Um, these are definitely not tiny portions. So you're gonna love this. This is the, the cheese is super strong in taste, and the, the meat is well done. The bread is a bit crunchy. I think it sits in this uh, balsamico sauce, and just overall goes very well together. 
There's caramelized onions on it and you taste it. Damn, that this is so good. This is some of the best food I had. <laughs> Spain, you get it right. It's awesome. <laughs> nice salad. I like the mustard, the honey mustard. It's good. I'm gonna try the uh, Iberian ham. Look at it. It looks amazing. I like the how dark red the, the meat looks. It tastes very flavorful. Here's the only problem. Um, I really like the tomato stuff on it too. The only problem is the bread is uh, it's too hard. It's overall a little bit too dry and hard. The, the brie one, the sirloin is way better. So this one is slightly disappointing. The rest is freaking awesome. Alright, I think Phil started off with a better one. <laughs> This is what I wanted. That's so good. Oh my god. Maybe you had half of it. Dude, you totally picked the better two to start off with. This is so good. The brie with the meat. Melting. Mm. Tintos y tapas. That was freaking amazing. At least yeah. two of the items were you outstandingly good. Chose right. Like he started with the really good one. The sirloin was like with the brie. Oh my god. Yeah, that was I awesome. I could eat that all day. Even the the server said that's his favorite dish on the menu. Overall, yeah, my first time tapas. For you, probably not. Yeah, we have it. Not, in well, the US. We have it. Uh, I think we have it. I never went for it. So first time tapas. First time in Spain for me, and it was muy delicioso. Pretty awesome. We're gonna walk it off now, and potentially later go for paella. Of course, we Which gotta eat it all. Had. My girl's name is Sonora. I tell you friends I adore her. And when she dances, oh brother, she's a hurricane in all kinds of weather. We still can't stop talking about that sirloin. You bite into it, will you hold it, your hand is covered in oozy goodness which you just yeah. want to finger lick off. We weren't sure uh, the normal tapas prices because on the reviews it said that restaurant was relatively reasonable price. So cheap eat. Yeah, it was Trip considered Advisor. cheap eat. We paid a total of uh, 30, 30 euros, 30 euros yeah. for the whole thing. Yeah. Which it wasn't bad because it was a filling meal, but I don't know if that would be considered cheap eat. Maybe in Madrid it's considered cheap eats. To me tapas sounds like a variety of small dishes. You yeah. can try everything, so it's like a dollar. You yeah. see these videos and people always say, yeah, in Spain you go out and you get a tapa for a for dollar, dollar, for euro, uh, for one and a half yeah. on the side. But here, for example, the, the brie thing with the sirloin was eight euro. Yeah. So that's like a full meal probably. But it was it's bigger a, than a normal tapas. It's, yeah, I it's think. a good portion. That's so. what I, I don't know what, what does tapas mean? Is it just like snacks? Because to me it's a normal restaurant. We have, yeah. we have sandwiches on there, we have little pizza snacks and they have salads and even real pizza. So is that a tapas place? Let us know in the comments what you think of tapas or if you know what tapas are considered. Mm, that empanada. Oh, so good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a real tapa experience, but it was definitely it was awesome. So, we gotta yeah. walk off our meal so we can eat paella later tonight. It's like 2 p.m. right now. It's so hot yeah. and I'm pretty full. I think we're gonna hit the siesta maybe. Maybe we'll, like, we'll do the full Spanish experience. <laughs> yeah, let's do a siesta. <laughs> 